What is going on guys, Z here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to filter out messages from your inbox. Now when there are a lot of people out there that create new emails if they sign up for, for these deal websites or their, these spam websites or newsletter websites, or sometimes there's some freebies online that you need to provide an email address. Now this is a video for that. Now instead of making a brand new email address for each site that you, for each site that you sign up to or just one email address, for all these spam websites, you can use the exact same email address, but with different add-ons to the email address. So for example, let's say you were to sign up to a website. So let's just say, this is my email address right now. Okay, zwas87 at gmail.com. So now let's say you were to sign up for a deal website that basically they give you free soap if you provide them with an email address. You have to sign up give them some information with an email address. So here's an example. So I would provide them with this particular email address. It would be zwas87 and then I would put a plus in there, plus soap, because it's probably a, some sort of soap website. And I would put the at sign gmail.com. So now when, I, when they send me an email or a newsletter or whatever, the email the email service would disregard soap the plus sign and soap and just make this they would send it to me as as this whole email address without the plus soap but now you might ask then what's the point of adding the plus soap and here is the perfect example i'll show you guys right now so i'm going to copy that and here i'm going to compose a letter to myself using the soap thingy right here so i'm sending it to zwas87 plus soap at gmail.com Let's make the subject freebies. And now I'm going to go ahead and send it and I'm going to show you guys quickly. So I just received the message. Now, even though I sent it for myself, remember, I sent it for myself, but I sent it to a certain address. So now if I wanted to find out, now if I wanted to find out the two, remember who I sent it to, I would click on this down arrow and it would say 2ZWAS87 plus soap at gmail.com. So even though that the email service disregarded the plus soap, it still put it in there because that is who I sent the message to. But even though that is who I sent the message to, it disregarded it and it just sent it to zwas87 at gmail.com. So this would be the perfect thing to do to sign up to all those freebie sites. You don't need to use soap. You can use any text that you want. So you can use any text that you want. It doesn't have to be soap. It could be, let's say you signing up to a deal website it can be deal it can be anything literally anything that you want it to as long as you put the plus in there so don't forget to put the plus in there and now <clears throat> I just want to show you guys something else so let's put the plus back in there now I'm gonna create a filter I want to create a filter and I want to create labels so anytime I get a message sent from this email address oh and by the way I did forget to mention that you will be able to find out whoever this website let's say some deal website, you provided them with this email address right here, you would be able to find out whoever they're sharing, if they're sharing your email address with other websites. So if you were get email from, let's say a credit report website with a plus soap in there, you know that they're sharing your email address with this credit report website or different things like that. So remember, as long as you create different email texts within that plus sign, as long as you designate for each website or each deal website or each type of for each website that you basically sign up to as long as you designate which website is which and you remember that you remember that by specifying the name either of the website within this box right here within after after the plus between the a and the plus so say for example you sign up to a wall website you would type in wall say you type you would sign up for a camera free camera website i'm just giving out throwing out some examples here you type in the camera uh, let's say free diapers that's i guess that's common diapers so you get free diapers so you know that you use this email for free diapers let's say you sign up for a website where you get free shampoo so you type in shampoo or you type in the actual name of the website let's say the name of the website is called slick deals there you go. Now you know that any email, any other email, that's any other uh, company that's sending you email to this address right here, you know that they're getting that email from Slick Deals. 
So this is an, an amazing way to actually track where emails coming from. So I just want to show you guys quickly to how to create a, a filter. So if you did not want it to end up in your inbox, because a lot of times you get these annoying newsletters or annoying spammy messages that don't go into your spam folder and they end up going into your inbox folder. So this is a, a good way of really putting them into a different folder without having them, without having them in your inbox. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on this down arrow, arrow right here right near the search button right here on the top there. And I'm gonna buy two, where it says two, I'm gonna paste that email address in, zwas87 plus soap at gmail.com. So any messages coming to this address right here would go into a certain folder, which is somewhere, which will be right here. I will create, an, I will create one right now. So I would just put that email address in there. Now what I would do is I would create a filter with the search. So I'm going to create a filter and I'm going to click on skip the inbox because I don't want it to, I don't want it to end up in my inbox because I don't need my inbox full of junk mail. I already have a bunch of messages, right? Or you have a bunch of messages, messages. You don't want all this junk. So I would put a check mark right there and now you would apply a label to it so that it would end up over here on the side in a different folder and a different label. And then you would click on you would click on this button right here, choose label, and then you would do new label, and then you would type in the name. So you can type in news letters, or let's say deal site soap, and you would do create, and then you would go ahead and create the filter, which is right here. So I would create the filter, and now as you can see, I have the deal site soap right there, and if I wanted to, I can go ahead and click on this down arrow right here and I can change the color of it. Let's put it to red. Now I have a red button there. So I know that that, that is for the deal site soap. Now I'm going to go ahead and send that message. I'm going to go ahead and send that email a message. And I'm going to type in uh, free soap. And I click here to get free soap. Oops. Now I'm going to click on the blue button send. And as you can see here, it is not going to go into my inbox. So it skipped my inbox as my filter, as I, as I specified in my filter. And even if I refresh it, it's not going to end up in my inbox. And if I go ahead and click on here, deal site soap, it's right here. So it skipped my inbox and went right into this folder. And that is pretty much how you clear up your inbox. Now, if you did want to edit that, or if you did want to delete the, the, if you did want to delete the filter, what you would basically do, let's say you made a mistake, you wanted to delete that filter now, because let's say you're getting orders and you want them to come into your inbox, or let's say you by mistake, you, for whatever reason, you made a mistake there, you would basically go click on your settings right here, the down arrow, you would click on settings. Now within settings, you would go on filters, and blocked addresses. And this is the filter that we created. This is the label. This is not, we're not deleting this. We're just deleting the filter that all of the messages that are specified to go to this address right here would end up in here. So we're just deleting that. So we're gonna delete it. It's not gonna delete the messages. It's just gonna delete the filter. So now if we go back into the filter, we have it right there, but now if we compose a letter again and send it to this email, let's do test one, two, three, and we'll do one, two, three, we'll just type in a bunch of numbers there. We're gonna do send, and now as you can see, it is now back into my inbox. And guys, you can do this with any word, any text, you can do it with any website, so you don't have to create a million different email addresses. You can just use that same one and use different, different text within there and create a bunch of different filters. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope that this helped you out a lot. If it did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.